Welcome back to another episode of 100% Orange Juice. We'll be attempting Sigri final episode again. So expect a lot of failure. Let us construct our deck. We'll do our standard put one all my friend, three holy knights, two go aways, a nice jingle, a nice presents, and uh, two rainbow colored symbols. And this setup is to maximize passive play while also giving us some options to deal with combat against other players. He may get one kill off of a seagull. He may not have a Doesn't really matter though. He only had one star to begin with. It says trap down there, probably a dangerous pudding, bad pudding, because you don't want to go by. Alright, we're gonna get in the way of my Coco because we want to fight her. Tomomo gets her first win off the seagull. So, my Coco is gonna fight us just like we want, and we'll knock her out. That puts us at two wins, securing our level 3 normal. Now we're just gonna go back into the inner circle. And that will uh, get us closer to a lollipop. Or someone else's lollipop. In this position we have... It's always gonna be a 1 in 6 chance of rolling. It would've been better if we rolled a 6 if we were already on a lollipop. Because that would allow us for 2 level ups, but... Just work with what we can get. And you notice the music has changed, which means Hime has leveled up. Hime is going for two wins next, which he already has. Tomo is going to fight Mary Popo. Uh, do a few damage to Mary Popo and then walk away. Sentinel is left to one health by. He may, so we might be able to pick it up, if we do. So we're at 4 wins, and Tomomo levels up. He may get to level 3 though. And we're gonna fight the seagull, which will probably be the end of our lives. Tomo will use here and there to shuffle up positions. So I actually want to stay down for a little bit because I want to to get ahead of me before reviving. So next turn uh, will be ideal to wake up. My purple finally levels up, so we're the only ones still at level one. I don't remember if we had Accelerator or not. Oh well. I think we just had to go away. So oh, we do draw another Accelerator. So we actually went for 30 stars instead of 2 wins, which is surprising. So that actually delays her in my opinion. We're gonna continue to roll numbers that aren't gonna land on our home. And we fail to kill the seagull, so the seagull will probably knock us out again. To Elsuri cannot deal with plus one attack characters. She just cannot. Uh, 
finally roll another lolly pop. We'll go for two more enemies next time. Someone has three wins now. Mary Poppy used up Lolly Knight. And she lands on a Mimu's hammer, takes one damage. And gets knocked. Doesn't get knocked up with Seagull, but uh, takes three damage. We're gonna go take this detour to get some more stars. Someone will use Holy Knight, so you can see those Holy Knights really getting some usage in. Someone knocks out uh, Hime, though, through the Assault Trap card. Ray Purple reaches level 3 as well. Uh, we're gonna, just gonna go for some more stars. Tomo went the other way, so we'll be able to distance ourselves a little bit from her. We're not gonna fight Hime. Then we're just gonna go for more stars. So Hime will probably fight us next turn, and that might turn out ugly for us. Nothing really happened in that uh, Mary Popo fight. We'll have to defend, and we survive with one health. We can't use Accelerator, so that was probably the best case scenario to warp away from Hime. And this puts us behind all the other characters. So Mirko also gets knocked up with the chicken. We're gonna take this, uh alternate route to not cross with Tomomo. We get lucky to take out the chicken, which puts us at 5 wins, so our level 4 normal is secure. And the good news is that uh, we're still behind Tomomo. Now normally I would uh, fight a Tomomo to use the lollipop, but uh, that's really that's a really dumb idea because Tomomo will probably knock us out of the counter attack. So we're just gonna move this whole other path. Tomomo will just this ourselves. He may use Cloud of Seagulls and deals two damage to herself. We draw an assault, which is rather useless in our situation. Tomo is gonna fight Hime and knock out Hime, putting her at 7 wins. I'm your own 150 stars now. Uh, we're, we got lucky to land on ramp up with the light pop, so we'll level up. We'll go for 55 more enemies for our level 4 Roma. Mary Popo is gonna level up herself, putting her at level 4. Uh, we could use Accelerate to take out Hime, but uh, I'd rather save that to fight Tomomo with. So we take out the I could have used Go Way on Mary Popo with Olipop, but I think it's better if saved for perhaps Hime or Tomomo with Olipop. The boss is still at 4 health. So he's not really in range of Accelerator, but now the boss is in range of Accelerator, so... Oh, we can't use Accelerator because Tomomo used the out of ammo, so that's really unfortunate. It's oh, a shame. Instead of Tomomo, we'll be able to pick up the boss kill. So, you can see... I don't think uh, Tomomo's AI was that smart enough, but you can see how he used out of ammo in that kind of situation to, to deny your opponent kills. We're just gonna level up and then go for stars this time. Mirapop was gonna fight us to probably use this lollipop. Uh, we'll defend, because I was afraid of uh, getting KO'd by Mary Popo, and then we'll counter-attack for the KO. 
And this is uh, our lollipop, so we don't want to just go away. Instead, we'll use uh, oh, my friend to deny Tell me one more kills. <laughs> Tomomo reaches uh, level 5 and she actually went for stars this time, so uh, we're in a bit of a pickle. All Tomo has to do is land on a lollipop for the victory, and I predict she will be able to do so once Mariko will revive. Not much we can do about that. We just have to try again, try a different attempt. Oh, at least we can use this accelerator and try to uh, KO Kime and use the lollipop. We actually roll super low so we can KO Kime, but we will use the lollipop. Only the boss can uh, do significant damage to Tomomo. And now that uh, Mary Popo is revived, the only way Tomomo won't win is if Mary Popo. Uh, deals one damage to uh, Tomomo, which is not out of the question. But we'll fight Kime again. But Kime actually evades us, and we evade her. And we'll be knocked out by the boss. Tomomo will actually use Magical Massacre to knock out Mary Popo. Rather interesting because uh, she could have used Mary Popo to uh, level up the win. So, this is our uh, saving grace, essentially. But uh, she might just loop around again for Mary Popo then. Might as well get knocked up by the chicken again. So at this point, it's just comical. The only way I perceive ourselves winning now is to. Uh, Draw an accelerator card and use it on Tomomo, which would put us at enough stars to win. Or we get the boss KO. And I think uh, the boss will be able to KO Tomomo, so we have a chance at the boss KO. The equipment is just used on us, which is really just a. Uh, Adding insult to injury at this point. We're at 42 stars now. Uh, we don't, there's no point fighting Mary Popo. We're just gonna go for it. Uh, perhaps draw more cards. Uh, yeah, we can draw an accelerated card. Mary Popo will actually use the, the, the sealed guardian, I believe it's called. But all our health is at 1. Which is really bad because uh, the Tomo was out of commission for this bit. We are gonna not fight Mary Pumbo, is that we are gonna go for the boss. We want boss money. And we do get boss money. And Mary Pumbo actually used the Magical Massacre acquired through a gift exchange. Which enables Tomobo for a bit more. That's pretty good. And we're gonna try to, uh... uh we actually can win. So we're just gonna go for the win. If we didn't roll this number, uh, we would have went for the Hime kill. So we're just gonna go win. And, uh, this isn't uh, the second. This isn't like what you would perceive to be the third try. I actually did one more video before this that I'm not gonna upload because there's not really a reason to show me losing twice. So let's just proceed with the final story of the Sugari scenario. Did we win? We're completely defeated, Popo. How? I changed my attribute values to guarantee my victory. You're supposed to be a last boss. Please don't cheat like that. On the other hand, that's something a last boss would do. Cheer up. Ugh. It's all right, Tomomo. Well, what is? You were strong and have a unique personality. So I'm sure you really made an impression. Ugh. Sugi. So please don't cry. Okay. Touching. Really? Alright, everything's better, everyone's better now, but what are we gonna do next? Come to think of it. Well, I'm gonna open this world for easy access, 
so you can return to your world or play with someone else. Do whatever you want. Tell Mama Mama that's quite a laissez-faire policy you have there. Throwing in the towel? But if I can play with everyone again, that would be wonderful. I will join you guys from the start next time. Prepare yourselves. No using cheats, alright? <laughs> a world where people can play happily together. What is it, Suguri? It's nothing. Alright then, let's get the next game started. Sure. So we'll, re we'll, we'll have a look at Suguri's end card. And I believe that's a Suguri along with Tomomo and Mary Popo. Or that could be QP, I'm not quite sure. And that'll be the end of Suguri scenario. So well, let's just skip through these credits. Because you'll be seeing these uh, at least two more times. Now I believe uh, when Suguri said uh, a world where people can live happily and play together is a reference to her own series where uh, Suguri is uh, the last human or something like that? Even though she's technically a modified cyborg, but I'm... that's... that's... that's a topic for another video. So now that we've done Suguri scenario, we've unlocked uh, Struggle of the Cyborg, which is her special map. We'll be doing that in the next episode, which we may or may not uh, win on our first try. But uh, again, these extra scenarios give us a chance to showcase the other characters. So until next time, thanks for watching, hope to see you again, Castella out.